The management of children with uh, a kidney transplant has improved during the last years. This is because of the immunosuppressive treatment has improved during the last year. So the risk of acute rejection is very, very low nowadays. But at the same time, the, the risk of infection uh, for the immunosuppressive treatment has increased in, in, in this population since the uh, children with a kidney transplant need a long-term immunosuppressive treatment. The most frequent infections in these patients are UTIs or viral infection or uh, opportunistic infections. Um, for all these uh, infections, a close monitoring is required. Uh, so uh, many, many um, follow-ups may be required to uh, uh, exclude the infection in these patients. One approach for the, preven for the, um, the management of this infection is a prophylaxis with an effective agent that can reduce the risk of the infection. Another approach can be the preemptive therapy with a, uh, with a therapy that can be started only after the first sign of infection, a first laboratoristic sign of infection before any symptoms can, be, can occur. Uh, while the opportunistic infection for, with, by pneumocisti carini has been completely or uh, almost completely resolved by the prophylaxis with cotrimoxazole, viral infection can be more difficult to treat. Um, three viruses are the most commonly involved in this kind of patient. Epstein-Barr virus, CMV, and uh, poliomavir virus. These infections are uh, treated for uh, the first approach is the reduction of the immunosuppressive agent, since the immunosuppressive treatment is the cause of this infection. Um, the infection can, can be acquired by the kidney that has been transplanted, or can be the reactivation of the infection that has, uh, has already mm, uh, in, the, in, in the recipient. So uh, the first approach is the reduction of the immunosuppressive treatment. For one of these viruses, for CMV, we have a, an effective treatment, valganciclovir, that can be used also for prophylaxis or disinfection. While for poliomavirus and EBV, the approach is different. For poliomavirus, we do not have any treatment that has been proven to be affected for these children. So the, the, the best management is the reduction of immunosuppressive treatment. EBV can be, EBV can be more, more worrisome because uh, it can evolve to post-transplant lymphopro lymphoproliferative disease, a type of cancer that can develop in immunosuppressive treated children. For this virus, the first approach is the reduction of immunosuppressive treatment, but it can be required the uh, treatment with rituximab or even chemotherapy.